the autonomic nervous system works by way of chemical messengers. There are different chemical messengers, and the, one of the more important families of uh, chemical messengers is catecholamines. This is an area that uh, has been of interest for, to me for many years. The catecholamines uh, are key chemical messengers both in the brain and in all the organs of the body. Uh, it's important to realize that the autonomic, uh, a key aspect of autonomic uh, function is neurotransmission. Chemical messengers are released from nerves and have uh, key effects. Now, the general arrangement is, is shown here. Uh, uh, in response to nerve traffic, there's release of a transmitter that's being stored in uh, bubble-like uh, uh, spheres called vesicles. And uh, the, uh, the, the messenger, the, the chemical messenger reaches the target organ and causes uh, cellular activity uh, because of the changes, let's just say, in blood pressure and so forth, there's afferent traffic to the brain, which affects the efferent traffic. And so you have this, uh, this cycle. And it's a, uh, it's a negative feedback loop. Negative feedback just means here's a positive effect, here's a negative effect. And uh, any time you've got a cycle like this where there's an odd number of negative signs, it's a negative feedback loop, the level of the, the monitored variable, let's just say blood pressure, is going to be uh, held stable. Negative feedback loop. Uh, norepinephrine, uh, which is the key chemical messenger neurotransmitter of the sympathetic noradrenergic system, is made in vesicles. It's made inside the vesicles in, in the sympathetic nerve terminals. And a key enzyme is uh, dopamine beta hydroxylase, or DBH. There are rare patients who have uh, a lack of dopamine beta hydroxylase. Because of that, the, the person can't make norepinephrine. Because of that, there are all sorts of effects on that part of the autonomic nervous system but here's a quiz question for you. If you had a patient with DBH deficiency, would that patient be able to sweat? Yes, because you don't need norepinephrine to sweat. So that, that was the sympathetic cholinergic system to a large extent. You don't, and so acetylcholine is the chemical messenger there. It's not quite that simple, but the fact of the matter is that people with DBH deficiency do sweat. Here's a beautiful uh, image uh, provided by Risa Isonaka showing uh, either vesicles or clusters of vesicles. We haven't figured that out. Uh, in, a, a, in a human sympathetic neuron, uh, this is inside the ganglion. Exocytosis is important, so I just want to go over uh, how the chemical messenger gets out. The chemical messenger gets out because the vesicle physically, physically goes to the membrane surface and then uh, porates right here. And then the, the soluble contents uh, uh, come out, and that's how the chemical messenger, that's how chemical neurotransmission happens. So if you look under an electron microscope, you can actually see these little omega signs. It means the porated uh, the vesicles that are fused with the membrane surface. But there's m the vast majority of vesicles are not porated. Only a teeny amount of the storage transmitter is released uh, uh, under, under normal circumstances.